green arrow, we're gonna be following this car, making a left-hand turn. I think it's a little bit easier for the FSD Beta when it has a lead car. Hey everyone, Will from All Electric back again with another video and we are still testing out the FSD Beta 12.3. We have our destination set, we have a couple destinations in here, and we're gonna see what the car does and what we run into. Full stop here at the stop sign. It is clear, creeping for visibility right now. You can see with that blue line, and it does pull out onto this road. Significant slowdown here. There is no school speed limit flashing, but it is almost identifying that it is 20 miles an hour during a school speed limit zone time period, but there is no school speed limit right now. So I'm gonna push the accelerator. And again, if you haven't seen my other videos, I talked about this auto max speed. So that's where the FSD beta is determining the max speed that it will go based on the road type, traffic conditions, and other things. So I did find that it is identifying the school zone speed limit in most cases, but in this case, the light was not flashing that the school zone speed limit was in effect. And so it incorrectly slowed down to that 20 miles an hour. And you can see even here, I only did that one single press of the accelerator, giving it some encouragement. But you can see here, it's still not up to the speed limit, although now, um, now it is. Now slowing down here, a human driver would see that the light is green ahead and would speed up. A little bit funky there, how it got into the turn lane. Significant slowdown here again, no traffic. We can turn left and it does turn left and it chooses this left lane. Significant slowdown here again. Almost felt like a little phantom braking, but it was definitely back there where they had a blinking sign, but it was not in effect. Green light here, we're gonna head straight through this light. No slowdown, very smooth. Some acceleration here as the speed limit does increase. Smooth slowdown to he be here behind this traffic. We're gonna follow through this green light. It does quickly accelerate to follow this traffic through. And we are through this light. A little bit of slowdown to, for this turning car. And really, really smooth by this 12.3. Uh, so here's a good example of how this automatic speed limit is working. You can see that it's currently 35 miles an hour, but it's trying to maintain speed, it looks like, with the car in front of us, that lead car that we were just following behind that traffic light. And so as soon as we went through, the speed limit dropped, but it still maintained this 40-ish mile an hour speed behind this car in front of us, although it is significantly farther ahead right now but a good example of how this auto speed limit works and adjusting the speed according to the traffic it rounded. Now making a right lane change into this right hand lane, we have about uh, eight tenths of a mile until we are gonna make a right hand turn and it's choosing to get in this right hand lane. We are maintaining the exact speed limit I will say that this 12.3 is again super smooth. Back there at that stoplight, the deceleration into the acceleration was really just super smooth and felt very human-like. Now you can see here with this car next to us that's pacing a little bit, like maybe 43, 45 miles an hour, it did go up a little bit, almost pacing these cars around us. So I really am enjoying this automatic uh, speed limit, although it's not all the way there but it is uh it's got some room for improvement but it's really nice to have that um, automatic speed adjustment right turn signal come on we're going to follow this silver car in front of us and we're going to make a right turn here a little bit of hesitation getting into this right turn lane we do have a green arrow there's no cross traffic no need to stop here and very smooth. Left turn signal comes on. We're gonna be transitioning lanes over probably two times and it does do 
a quick two change over. Green arrow, we're gonna be following this car, making a left-hand turn. I think it's a little bit easier for the FSD Beta when it has a lead car. And now it looks like we are following this car again. A short left turn lane here and a smooth left turn into this parking lot. And now it is choosing to make a right turn before another left. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take over to park because we have reached our destination for now. Okay, pulling back out of the parking lot now, FSD Beta is engaged. It's going pretty slow, about six miles an hour in the parking lot. Now it looks like it is speeding up a little bit and then slowing back down before it reaches this intersection. Right turn here, and then we do need to make another left turn here, no traffic and it does kind of slowly creep through. Now we do have a stop sign, which I'm sure it will come to a full stop to zero. Now we're gonna make a right-hand turn here. A little hesitant out of the FSD beta, but doing a pretty good job, and it, I will say that it is smooth. Right turn here, the traffic light is turning red, so it is gonna treat it like a stop sign before it turns right. Full stop before it creeps. Now we're gonna get a little bit of creep. We do have a warm-up lane and a significant amount of traffic here coming from this other side. So although we do have a warm-up lane that the FSD Beta could make a right-hand turn into and then speed up and transition over, it looks like it's just gonna wait. Um, it is a little clear and it, now it does use the warm-up lane sort of before it does come right over with a turn signal. Another turn signal and it is gonna transition over once more into the center lane. And another lane change. And it is gonna go into this left lane. So pretty assertive here. Again, I do have it on the aggressive setting for the FSD. Um, and that is the same as all my videos that I have done with this 12.3. Green arrow before we even come to a complete stop, which is great. And it does make a really smooth and firm, like it definitely gave a lot of speed left turn. Excellent job. So accelerating through that pretty quickly, we are under the speed limit here and this right lane does end. So we do have to transition over into the left lane. So we'll see if it just kind of rides it all the way through. Turn signal does come on as we pass through that traffic signal and it does transition over. Pretty smooth slow down there, although it was a little bit hesitant in terms of its acceleration up. I would like to see it accelerate a little bit faster. It's still under the posted speed limit here, although we are coming up to a red light, so perhaps that's why, but I still would like to see it at least reach the speed limit back there. So a little bit hesitant. green light and the car quickly takes off and accelerates pretty rapidly. That is what we want to see. So a pretty uneventful test here with the FSD beta, although we did get to see some variation with the max speed limit setting. So you can see that we're about three, two miles an hour under the posted speed limits, accelerating still. And on this road, I would say anywhere between 42 to 47 is typical in terms of normal traffic traveling on this road. So again, uneventful test today, but I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more FSD beta videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.